Hey guys, how are you doing? This is my Grit Section. I'm here today to bring the review for 91 Days, episode number 9. So we start things off with Cortia and he's trying to dip to skip out of town, you know the reason why he's doing this. When he gets as far as the station, just about to board the train, and someone grabs him by the shoulder and is like, where you going bro? No, 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 no. You're coming with us. So obviously those were Nero's boys, and they take him back to that like, garage, this place, whatever you want to call it. And they tie him up and they're torturing for the torturing him slash questioning him that like, why do you do it blah 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 and it's during this time we see a villain now he's either worried because he thinks Cortio is gonna talk there for ruining his plan or he's either feeling guilty because he knows that Cortio is in this situation because of him or it could be a mixture of both I'm hoping it's a mixture of both <laughs> but. As the episode goes on, we know that Avilo comes to the decision that he's going to help Cortio get away. And the reason why I say this is because we see him holding like a little pocket knife and now he was going to straight up kill him so he doesn't talk. He doesn't just put a gun and then there and go pow, that's shit. Straight like that, but we see him with a little pocket knife. Unfortunately, he is not able to do this because Cortio gets away. So we find that Cortio is with the person who sent Avilo the letter now, the person who sent Avilo the letter told Cortio to call Avilo and tell him if Nero's not dead by tomorrow, Cortio's dead. So Avilo has to do that, but he doesn't. As the episode goes on, Nero becomes Don of his family, so we have that little moment there with the whole kissing of the ring and blah blah blah. So the like how the episode ends is we find out that Nero actually didn't kill no one during the incident seven years ago and we also get some kind of some hints to who the killer and who the person who sent the letter may be because we got this whole mention of the guy who doesn't talk so obviously if he can't talk he couldn't call and tell Avila this so he had to write it down and send the letter at the and we also get the mention of the uncle who was thrilled for Avila to be there. That's what Nero says, and I'm thinking there where was it the whole uh, situation where Nero became Don? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm a bit a bit shaky about that. But by the end of the episode, we have Avila. He's gone to this house and he's standing face to face with someone. I think I should really know. I'm sorry. I'm messed that up but yeah he's done a face to face with someone with a gun and he said it was you right now that could be it was you who sent me the letter it could be that it was, it was you that sent me i mean yeah it could be that was you that sent me the letter or it could be it was you that killed my family and the person is like yeah that's the right answer so things are wrapping up things are actually wrapping up so i'm guessing so because this is the 10th episode because we had episode 7.5 but this is actually 10th episode so two to three episodes then this is actually done so yeah um it was a good episode uh, i like that the plot is moving on because there are some episodes i felt that the plot was moving not at all or either too slow so it's good to be at this point where we are now yeah I'll give it a full story and a cool little review that was done. I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.